Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to do my first boil test with this Kelly kettle. I think I showed you the other day that I got this off eBay, came from Estonia. Uh, the man that sold it to me had used pine cones in this thing the last for his last burn, and it was really all sooted up. I took a Brillo pad to it and tried to clean it up as good as I could. I've had some suggestions from people on stuff to get uh, at head shops or something that help remove residue, but this is going to get all sooted up anyway, so it's no real big deal. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that usually on a wood burner, I try using the Trangia with it just to see how it'll work for those times that, you know, you're in the rain, you can't find dry wood, you're in areas that don't have wood. So I like to always use the Trangia inside the burner, inside the wood burner. But in this case, I think this is going to be too small of a flame, too narrow of a flame going up through this. And I don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to try something a little different here today. I'm going to use alcohol, but I'm just going to use a carbon felt pad in the bottom of this. Now, uh, been thinking about other things. This one is made out of aluminum and it only has two holes, two air holes. I think I'm going to, well I know I am, I'm going to punch more holes in this. Instead of punching them all the way around, I'm going to follow like what they did here. The holes are all on one side so that you can regulate it into the wind. So I'll end up punching more holes on this half of the fire base. But I have a piece of carbon felt in here. I'll put one fluid ounce of methanol in here and do a test with that. The other thing that I did <laughs> on my last video was I made a joke and not too many people got it. And they misunderstood it thinking that I was saying that when you boil water this is good because it's got a chain on the cork so the cork won't go popping out all over the place. That's really a very dangerous thing to do. This cork is just to be able to keep the inside here clean. When you're boiling water, this would be set to the side. Uh, a lot of people use the Swiss Army volcano stove. It comes with a bottle like this with the cork in it. And I was referring to a number of them boiled water in it with the cork on. When the steam built up, the cork went rocketing. And that's what I was referring to. I'm sorry, sometimes my jokes aren't too good. But when, in this, when you boil in this kettle, Kelly kettle, the cork should be out. The other benefit that this comes up with with the chain is when you want to go pouring water. You can lift this off. Oh, the camera's not quite tall enough. But you can take the chain and you pull the chain holding the handle up here. Pull the chain and you're able to pour your water off without burning yourself. So you can pour water, pour more water in here and we'll put it right back onto the firebox. The other thing is you just feed your wood, whatever you're burning, in through the top. But what I'm going to do is, tr like I said, try methanol in here, see what happens. Oh, that's what I was going to say. This has two holes in it, and it's up quite a bit from the bottom. So a, a sizable amount of alcohol could be put in here. I put in a fluid ounce already with this, and it looks like just a drop in the bucket. But my first test, I'm going to just try it with one fluid ounce and see how high the water gets, how hot the water gets. So let me prep my water, and I'll re be right back to start the test. Okay, I've got my two cups of water. It only fills it up to about here. According to the instructions, it will hold 17 fluid ounces, so that's one ounce over a uh, two cups. So what I want to do is I have a carbon felt pad that's a little bit smaller than this base. I'll put that in there. One fluid ounce of methanol, just pour it right onto the carbon felt. And that leaves very little loose in the bottom of the firebox. Let's light this. Okay, that's lit. Two cups of water sitting at 63 degrees. That was as close as I could get it with this configuration. Oops. Boy, that jumped up. Okay, so 
Let's see what happens with this. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but the flames are coming out of the top of this and all the way up to here. So that's where that other uh, pot stand comes in. You can just... Okay, that just burned right out. Oops, wrong switch. Okay, that was one fluid ounce of methanol. Only brought the water up to 155 degrees. And lasted less than two minutes. So that was like a, a real runaway. Hmm. What I was trying to show you here, I'm not sure what's happened with the camera now. But let me tilt this again. The flames were up about this high. Luckily I'd moved it away from the cabinets. There is another there's a pot stand thing just like this it's two cross pieces just goes in right like this and then you could put a pot on top of that for making some stuff uh, heating up you know dehydrated food or something so that just kind of burned too wildly just kind of shot all of the alcohol in one one big shot so that's going to take some other thinking. I don't want to try to do it with two fluid ounces. It's just that so much of the flames came out of the top of the, the Kelly kettle. More so than I thought would on this. Hmm. Okay, so that's my first boil test with the Kelly kettle. A real fail, but at least it shows me some stuff, gives me some information on this. So I thank you for watching even a fail watching, but I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.